Hey Taurus, let's see what's coming up for you guys with Leo season. I imagine Leo season for some of you will be, well, for most of you, will be a little challenging because the Leo sun will be squaring your Taurus energy. Um, we're using the most Leo deck I've got, which is like hot pink and gilded edges, and it is the Modern Love Tarot. Um, I'm going to be clarifying with the Steampunk Tarot. And then towards the end, I'm going to pull cards from the um, Wisdom of the Oracle deck. One for uh, relationship, one for protection, one for prosperity, and then a general message, okay? Let's see, what's coming up for Taurus in the next 30 days? Okay, so we start off with the Six of Swords. What's coming up for Taurus? Oh, damn. The Tower, okay. Damn, Taurus. The Five of Cups. What's coming up for Taurus next 30 days? Stop, Sultan. Wow, Five of Swords. I told you it was going to be a challenging season. The sun is squaring your sun if you're a Taurus sun, squaring your ascendant if you're a Taurus ascendant, and squaring your moon if you're a Taurus moon. Taurus. Look at this. Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Changes. Profound changes. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Sultan. No. Sultan. Oh, where's mine? Stop it. What's coming up for Taurus? No. Sorry, my cat is just being a drama queen today. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. So I like that you come out as the overall energy, um, Taurus, because this is Earth. It's very, um, give me a second, one second. I'm so sorry, I have to do this, give me one Okay, guys, sorry. <clears throat> All right. So, overall energy, Knight of Pentacles. I think, I will tell you this, a lot of these changes that are happening, because it's incredible changes, we literally got the tower. I feel like they're happening internally. It's not like, Like a lot of the movement you see here is decisions. It's like internal. It's not like you're going anywhere physically. Um, because the Knight of Pentacles is they take their time. They don't rush into things. They don't jump into anything. Although there is a lot of, I don't know. <laughs> let's start, let's start. Cause this is a slow moving energy. So overall, all of this will feel slow, but yet it's, it's. I don't think it is. Okay, so let's, let's start. Six of Swords, uh, you're trying to move on from something or move away from something. Um, with the Tower card here, this could be a breakup. And I'm saying a breakup because we see a couple fighting, we see her mourning, we see waiting. So I feel as if, um, I feel like if you are in a partnership, and it's interesting to me that she has the same color hair in all of these cards. If you are in a partnership Okay, so this, this is going to apply, it's a general reading, so it's going to apply two different ways, okay? So for some of you who are currently in a partnership, I do think that there's going to be some huge shakeup in the partnership. Um, 
there's a sense of loss. There's a sense of not being able to find harmony. Communication. But yet still feeling... Still, I'm sorry, I don't know why my cat got so naughty right now. but And then still feeling left out, feeling shut out, feeling... Feeling not included. For others of you, this may be something you, you've already dealt with. Like the tower may have just happened or it happened recently and you're trying to move on from it, but it's like you're still feeling the effects of it. You're still grieving the loss of the connection. You're still replaying a lot of things that were said to you. And you now have clarity on where you stand, but you still struggle with like maybe if somebody walked away from you, you feel rejected, you feel abandoned. But the high priestess is here, which means you're also not like the clarity it's coming through is helping you move into a new era, right? That's what the doorways implicate imply a new life. But the high priestess also implies you're not sharing this with anybody else, especially with this energy here. So you're trying to move forward. But it's almost like you feel like you can't. Because we've got the Six of Swords. Trying to move forward. The clarity is here, but then we've got the Seven of Swords. So the Six of Swords is here twice. It's here and then it's here with the Five and the Ace. You're really trying to move forward. And that's the, the first card that came out. So it's really your priority. But yet the Seven of Swords is here. Meaning that you've self-sabotaged. When you're trying to move on, you may reach out and try to continue the connection. Or I'm not really sure what you do. Or maybe this connection was the right one for you and you sabotaged it. And that's what you're struggling with. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Feeling trapped. Feeling unable to move. Feeling unable to... To... Yeah, and able to move is what keeps coming to mind. Although you really want to, you really have the desire to. Let's clarify, because I've already shuffled, but let's, this is interesting. Uh, let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles. And there you go, the devil. I'm telling you, I felt an um, inability to let go. Clarify Knight of Pentacles. Okay. There's the Queen of Swords twice. Um, this could be Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Um, it also represents somebody who's been hurt in love and who is protecting themselves from more hurt. So if this is, I feel like this is both of you though. This, I feel like this is the person you can't let go of and then this is you now. So the person you can't let go of, because the devil's here, right? Like I said, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Um, you you feel deeply, but it's almost like an addiction. It's like a this person feels like something you can't let go of, something you can't stop coming back to. nine of pentacles but yeah i don't think you're with anyone because the nine of pentacles is a very single energy it's almost like you're emotionally committed to somebody but you're not physically committed to anybody and i feel like you're trying to balance those two things like maybe that's what it is there's there there's some sort of commitment but not really a commitment Which is interesting. That's a interesting angle. Um, but two Queen of Swords here. So both people are kind of hurt, suspicious of love, not really incredibly trusting. Let's see. Let's hope it gets better because sometimes readings look really great and then they turn out awful. And sometimes readings look awful and then they turn out really great. So let's see. Um... This is why I shuffle on camera. So <laughs> you guys see I'm not picking the cards. Let's start with the Six of Swords. 
Clarify Six of Swords for Taurus. We get the Hermit. There's that Eight of Swords. I told you the Six, Seven, and Eight is here. Clarify Six of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles. With the Two of Wands. Okay. So with the Two of Wands... Um, I feel like there's there's somebody you saw or something you saw or somebody you know that you were trying to create a plan. You were trying to click create some sort of way to bring you two together. Um, and maybe it required leaving something behind. It required walking away from something. But that was um, with the hermit, you needed some time. I do not know why he's acting this way. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, stop. He's such an attention whore. Um, you needed time alone to make this decision because it feels like a decision. Some heavy decision needed to be taken. And with the Eight of Swords, it's almost like you felt like you couldn't, though. Maybe family held you back friends held you back somebody whatever it is that felt like home to you held you back in some way you couldn't you couldn't do it you felt like i just can't do this but the energy with the can't do this it feels almost apologetic on some level let's clarify the tower clarify the tower okay so we get the five of wands the magician and the knight of wands with the two of swords okay okay so the tower wasn't so much um I, i'm not, not really sure what it was it doesn't feel like anything huge like i don't feel like you got fired i don't feel like you lost your house nothing like that nothing too disastrous it was more of an event like somebody showing up into your life because the tower is sudden right it's unexpected and then we've got the five of wands which shows competition maybe some conflict but with the magician Doris, whether you realize it or not you you manifested this so let me put it to you this way because it feels romantic like a romantic read but let's say it's not right let's say it's a, a work read <sighs> I'm not predicting this because I don't think it's work related. This is an example. Let's say that you really hated your job and I mean hated it. Or you're always complaining about it and you kept saying, because this is what people forget, our words have power, right? So you kept saying, I hope that I can walk away from this one day. I hope that I don't have to work here forever. I hope that whatever. And then this new job offer comes in or the company burns down, something like that, you know, and, and then you're free. But with the freedom that you get, it's almost like you're upset. You're upset that you were f set free. So maybe this is a relationship that you kept saying was a burden in some way or you kept feeling was a burden and then the person was like okay well i'll take myself out of the equation then and then you were upset that they did that even though you probably said it because the magician your words have power you manifested it <sighs> but now that you have freedom now that you got what you want you're kind of you're not saying this though it's two of swords like the moon you're keeping it secret you're not expressing the effect that how sudden this was for you You didn't accept it's almost like you didn't see this coming um let's clarify five of cups and there it goes i told you it feels romantic clarify five of cups Ooh, the empress And the Seven of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> with the Two of Cups, this feels like 
this was your person, right? This this feels like somebody you love deeply. Um, your energy is here, but this could also be Venusian energy in general, Libra, Taurus energy. So could be you're dealing with another Taurus or a Libra, or this is you, one of the two. But with the Seven of Pentacles, that's the thing, though. I feel like you were the one saying, I don't want to invest my energy into this because this is earthy energy. I don't want to invest my energy into this. This is not worth my time. Even though you felt very deeply. Now, if you said this to an empress, or if somebody said this to you as an empress, <sighs> there was a lot not being said. But what was said led to a loss, led to the tower. With the moon, I feel like there was a lot you weren't saying or there was a lot the other person was not saying. Let's look at the five of swords. Got the page of wands, the sun card. Two of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles hmm. with the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like this connection required a lot of work. With the Eight of Pentacles, it's like something about this connection required either a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, a lot of your dedication. It required a lot from you but you're showing up as a page. And it could be vice versa. It could be the other person. Somebody showing up as a page. Not willing to do the work. A page of wands does not want to do eight pinnacles of work. And so it led to a lot of conflict. It led to a lot of... What's interesting here is that this is a family, right? It shows a family. But I feel like this is also a reflection of the inner child. The inner child of each person really just wants to be held, really just wants to be seen, acknowledged, but this is what's happening on the surface. Even if it brought you a lot of happiness, I feel like I feel like one of you made a decision based off of the moon, right? Based off of the things that were not said. About this offer. Because I feel like there was some sort of offer on the table. Somebody was putting an offer out there. But I don't think the offer was taken. Because none of this looks like an offer was taken. In fact, the Nine Pentacles here shows being single. So it could be that the decision you took was to be single. Or the decision somebody else took was to be single. Let's look at this Ace of Swords. Ten of Swords, see? Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> and the Star card. There's the decision again. Two of Wands. <sighs> so with the Ace of Swords, one of you got clarity. One of you was like, let's just... Let's just be open about this. Let's just be clear about this is over. It's over. And I feel like a big reason was that there was an unequal investment. When the Seven of Pentacles came out, I told you somebody is saying this isn't worth my, my time, my investment, my energy. And I feel like it's because both people were not investing the same amount of energy and time. And with the star card, there was a lot of distance, a lot of coldness. So a decision was taken. Clarify, five of pentacles. See, and now we get the emperor with the King of Wands and the Four of Cups. Wow. And the King of Pentacles. So up here we had the feminine showing up as the Empress 
and two of cups. And now we've got the mask, oh, and the, yeah, two of cups and the empress with the moon. Now we've got the masculine showing up, clarifying the five of pentacles with the emperor, king of wands, four of cups, and king of pentacles. This is so interesting because both of you are clarifying fives. The empress is clarifying the five of cups, the grieving, the sense of loss, the, you know, almost like the rest in peace. She feels like something died. She felt like she had to grieve over what was gone, over her loss. The emperor is showing up at the five of pentacles. I think the empress is the one that decided to move on. And after the Empress moves on, the Emperor stays here wishing for her return, waiting for her, feeling like one day she'll come back, feeling like one day she will return. And I don't know, I don't know what that happened, especially with that tower. I think that that was the shock that she never did. Maybe in the past, maybe it's happened several times, maybe five times, because we did get five, five cups, five swords, five pinnacles. Maybe in the past, oh, and five wands. It's happened about five times in the past she would come back. And this time, he was left waiting. But the emperor doesn't share those things, right? He's too proud for that. <sighs> Usually the King of Wands is sitting in his throne and this one is putting the throne between the artist and himself. So the eyes looking directly at the artist says the King of Wands knows exactly what happened. He feels like this is a missed opportunity. He feels like the Empress, like he's looking at her like she's the one that got away. You know what's really funny about this though? King of Pentacles, King of Wands. It's like it's like the masculine is stepping into King of Pentacles energy. Yeah, because he's not doing anything. Look at that. I swear. I swear. But the hangman, he's just sitting there waiting for her to come back. Not taking any action. Although he's grieving. He may be drinking. He may be indulging in some way to try and forget her, but his pride was wounded, his ego was wounded. So honestly, although he's showing up as an emperor, this is, this is a match and then it's not a very good match because a strong emperor does not operate out of a wounded pride. And this one is. And both of people are showing up with a lot of things unsaid. The Empress shows up with the moon, but it's the Two of Cups, what she's not speaking of. So what she decided to stop talking about was her feelings, her love. Whereas the Emperor now is followed by the High Priestess. So let's see that. What is it that he's not saying? Clarify the High Priestess. Wow. Ten of Cups, the Fool, Four of Wands. Five of Swords again. What is it that the masculine isn't saying? What is it that the masculine decided to keep secret, decided to not share? <sighs> the fact that she was his happiness, the fact that she was his everything. The fact that she made his life exciting and she made things come to life for him. It made him want to jump into marriage. Made him want to jump into forever with her. And the, ir the irony is that because he didn't say that, it put him in five of swords mode, which is like pride, right? So it's like, well, I got the last laugh because she thinks I don't want her. So, you know, in this scenario, he won. But did he really? Because he's showing up in a lot of pain. So it's almost like 
I'm going to put it to you, like, this might be a severe example, but I'm, I'm trying to illustrate how stupid the five of swords is. So it's almost like, like, uh, let's say a couple was having an argument in front of somebody else, right? And to prove a point that he's not a pushover, the masculine slaps the female, the, the feminine. So <clears throat> he made a point, all right. He, he won that round, he humiliated her. But he also never saw her again. Was that really a win? No. So this is the way it feels here. Something happened to where he's sitting in his pride and his ego like, well, I, I showed her, I crushed her, okay. But you also crushed yourself in the process. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Three of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, again. Queen of Swords, again. And the Chariot. <sighs> so you know what's really ironic? Is that the... I feel like the Empress is the one that decided to move on. And the masculine just went with it. They accepted that decision. Like, well, if she wants to move on, I'm not going to stop her. But they're also very upset. They've stepped into the Queen of Swords. When she comes out with this energy, she's, she's a little bitter. She's a little jaded, cynical. So she's put on the he or she masculine or feminine it doesn't really matter but the emperor whoever the emperor is has put on these blinders like fuck everything else eight of pentacles here i'm gonna focus on work i'm gonna build my wealth but it's because they're trying to run from this five of pentacles energy they're trying to run from the sense of feeling abandoned and rejected unwanted left out in the cold ignored they're trying to turn their back on it. See how her back is turned to this? But it comes out again. Even even with the with the super focus they have on career, even with the super focus they have on money, what they can't fill is the void inside of them that, that was left when she left. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> We've got the Temperance card. Three of Wands and the Hierophant with the Page of Cups. So towards the end of the 30 days, because it's the very last card, towards the end of the 30 days, it's almost like this This emperor is getting into the energy of like, well, maybe I could apologize. Maybe, maybe I contributed to, to this situation. Maybe, maybe I should use the Queen of Swords energy to be clear about what my role was in this. Almost like trying to bring harmony. <clears throat> So they may take some steps, but then they're, they're waiting. They're waiting for a response, I believe, from the Empress. But Taurus, now you show up in your highest self. So it's like when you step out of the ego, you step out of the pride, and you step into your higher self, you know what you have to do. And I believe you take action. You may communicate something, possibly an apology or some, something along those lines, and then you're waiting. Now, it's not showing me the result of that, and I'm not going to ask, because if it wanted to tell me the result, it would have. I can push for an answer, but when I have to push for an answer, it's very changeable. So I feel like towards the next 30 days, or towards the end of the next 30 days, when you finally take action to possibly reach out 
um, it's almost like it's the action that matters. You should look at the Aquarius reading because that one was very similar. If you have Aquarius in your chart, I feel like that one resonates with you a little bit because it was a very similar energy of not giving a result because the action is what mattered. So, I don't know, Taurus. I don't know. Let's pull some advice. What is the relationship advice for Taurus? Oh, you got two. Wow. These feel very much like Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Pentacle energy. Never ending story and orphaned. What's the advice for prosperity for Taurus? Breathe. And what's the protection advice for Taurus? Exchanging gifts. And the overall energy is no place like home. Okay. Let's read number 50. No place like home. Overall message. Authenticity. Coming home to yourself. Feeling at home. Arriving at a place where you just fit. <sighs> Being comfortable in your own skin. Home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create. A place that is known and you can call yours. This card signals that your ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. Aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in the house of your spirit and spirit. Hmm. So that could be what this journey was, something internal, something about feeling at home with yourself, being comfortable in your own skin, learning to be authentic with where you're at and who you are. Let's read the romantic message for 37 and 5. So 37, never-ending story, self-criticism, the wounded ego. I said that, did I not say that? The wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyway. Mm. So it could be that this whole debacle happened because maybe you didn't feel worthy of the Empress, even though you clearly aren't a match. Maybe you struggled with feelings of low self-worth and that could have contributed. So instead of focusing on feeling rejected and abandoned, lonely, think about how things happened and how you can heal through that, how you can use those lessons to integrate into your consciousness. Number five, orphaned, a sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. As you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support, but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing what you feel you deserve. Perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you're in a different stage of personal growth. Perhaps you are in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs, so you feel left out, unable to get to that intimate place of safety and belonging. Take heart, as spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as you are without artifice or agenda. Don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth the price. Hmm. Interesting. Only you know how that message applies to you because I'm not really seeing, unless it was, you know how I said, the family pulling you away, um, maybe to be able to belong to a certain group, you need to be a certain way and you feel like you're outgrowing that but it makes you really uncertain about well, who am I and what am I even doing here? So think about that because I feel like that could have influenced this, all of this. Number 29, 
This one is for prosperity. Breathe. Patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, trust. You have worked long and hard. Your dreams are coming to fruition and you want to hurry things along. You are the slow one moving languidly yet still progressing right now in a rhythm dictated by your authentic nature, the essence of your dream and the will of the universe. Slow and steady wins the race. You will indeed win if you relax, stay the course, trust your intuition and breathe. Well, there you go. Trust yourself. You're doing great, prosperity wise. 27. Uh, this one is the protection message. The law of giving and receiving. Currency, trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. Protection message. Be careful what you pray for because you might just get it. And then you real realize you don't want to face the hefty price tag that comes with it. You may find yourself in a situation you've always desired but know you will have to walk away from or even fail at it because you can't or won't pay the dues it asks of you. If you want to be a famous musician, you have to practice your craft every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying the taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost. It's okay though, because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Another message here reminds you that being the only giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode, in a codependent dynamic or holding on to a false sense of control. Others may push you to continue to prove yourself. The time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of the need for both give and take is the first step to your true identity. It's all good and getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result of it. This is interesting because I said that too. I feel like you prayed for something and then you got it. And then you really struggled after you got what you wanted. So... Be careful what you wish for, Taurus. That's that's going to be the message. Be careful what you wish for. Um, and I hope that this helps you out in some way. It gives you some clarity, some guidance. Um, I hope maybe your next message <laughs> will be a little bit more lighthearted. Okay? All right. I'm going to end the reading here, and I will see you guys later. Bye.